Hello! And welcome to Pokemon Unite, and I'm going to show you how to spend your pumpkins to get every single item in the new event. Let's get started. So we're going to go to our event tab, come down here, and boom. So firstly, if you claim all of your daily logins, so if you log in every single day, all the way up to day, let's see, day 14. Day 14, and you collect all of your pumpkins from the, um, the Mer Stadium missions, you should get 96 pumpkins in total. And also some pumpkin boxes, which I'll explain later how to, what the Halloween boxes do. So, we want to come to the pumpkin exchange, and as you can see here, you won't get enough pumpkins. 96 pumpkins is what you're going to get, but you're not going to be able to afford all of the stuff here. So, you can buy the witch's hat and green nut in the shop. So, we're going to go to the shop now to show you. Boom. Over here to the shop. Let me quickly show you. So... Go on the Unite Battle Pass, come over here, and Green Nut can be bought for 8,000 or with gems, and Green Nut, I'm pretty sure will stay, I don't think he'll like leave, I don't think he's like a limited time character, I don't think they've said that, so he should be viable. So if you, as long as we have 8k gems, you can buy him, 8k coins I mean, and if you go along here to the Halloween shop, you can buy all the normal Halloween stuff, and under hats, boom, there's the Witch's Hat, so... The two most expensive items you don't actually have to buy, but you can get them if you want for for basically for free if you get lucky with the pumpkins. So I'm gonna go back to the events tab here. Boom. So back to pumpkin exchange. The only exclusive items in here are the victory pose, the background, and the sticker and the border. Those are the only exclusive items. So you want to make sure you want to buy those first above all else. And these, you don't want to buy any of these, none of them. And if you have enough coins, you know, you can just buy Green Nut. But if you get lucky with your pumpkins, you can buy Green Nut. And I think you should just buy the Witch's Hat with the, the tickets already. So you should have enough. So as long as you grind up, you should have enough for all of these. But these pumpkin boxes here, these Halloween boxes, you'll get a couple of them. And you'll get a chance. Let me go, yeah. Down here, you should get, let's see how many you get, four. And you get four of these, and these have a chance to give you more pumpkins. So they do cost two, but they get, you have a 63% chance to get one, a 61% uh, chance to get two. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, the thing on the screen here, but you know a 31% chance to get two, a 3% chance to get five, one one to get ten, 0 0.32 to get 20, and 0 0.03 to get 50. So you could get really lucky with these, and you wouldn't have you don't have to buy. Green Nut or the Witch's Hat. So I recommend doing all of the challenges first. So you have 96 pumpkins. Then you open up your mystery boxes, your four mystery boxes you get. If you get lucky, you can buy Green Nut. And if you get unlucky, I say you just buy the, uh, the Witch's Hat instead. But you, you make sure to get these first because these are... All of these are unbuyable. So the main thing you want to do is get them. And then go to the shop and just buy Green Nut and the, and the Witch's Hat. So that's pretty much what you want to do. Because I've seen people being complaining like, oh, you know, I can't get all this stuff. But you can. As long as you um, make sure you buy the, the unobtainable things first. You know, buy the emote, buy the background, buy the sticker, buy the border. As long as you get them, the Witch's Hat's viable in the shop. You know, grind up some tickets. You can grind up tickets through doing daily logins. You can do, um, you know... All these random missions, like daily missions here. I'm getting coins as well, so keep grinding up. But yeah, don't spend your points, and, and you might get lucky. Hopefully, you when you open up your open up your boxes, you get enough for Green Nut. You can buy more boxes, but that's not worth. It's not worth at all, you know, because it costs two, and you know, 63% of the time you're only going to get one, and then 31% of the time you're going to get two, which is breaking even. It's such a low chance you're gonna like gain that you know by the time you've like spent enough points to gain back pumpkins, you're gonna lose. So pumpkins are really limited in this event, so you're gonna be really careful about spending them. So I think that's pretty much it. So you just buy these, buy the witch's hat in the shop, and buy green knight in the shop if you don't make enough pumpkins. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. And if you don't have enough coins or enough um or enough tickets, make sure to just grind them up now, because it's pretty easy to grind up tickets and coins if you're 
doing all of the daily events. And if you go on your player profile and you're good at fair play, you don't oh, lagging a bit. As long as your fair play is good and you always um you know don't leave matches and stuff, you should have an excellent score. You can always claim 20 points a day, 20 coins. So that's that's extra coins you can get to like boost up your rank there, and that's pretty much it on how to get all the Halloween items. So I'm going to be grinding out all these challenges now. I'm going to do some more videos on this. And if you want to know anything else about Pokemon Unite, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.